This video illustrates how an RPI direct retainer can theoretically reduce stress on an abutment by reducing rotation and disengaging the retentive arm from the abutment during function. In this diagram, the red target represents the center of rotation of the RPD during function. Normally, the center of rotation is located through the rest on the most posterior abutment in a quadrant with a distal expansion base. Watch now as we animate to see what happens during function. Force over the grid work and the denture base causes the base to move tissueward due to compressibility of the mucosa. As that happens, the RPD rotates. Note two things during the initial movements using the mesial rest. Number one, the indirect retainer on the first premolar rises only slightly. Number two, the tip of the eye bar moves downward into more undercut, essentially disengaging from the abutment. A retentive arm that doesn't touch the tooth can't cause stress. In the second rotation, we move the target point distally to where it would be located if a distal rest were used. Note how much higher the indirect retainer moves. It actually moves above the marginal ridge on the first premolar in this animation. Note also that the tip of the eye bar moves upward, engaging the tooth and placing force on it. Mesial rests on distal extension cases reduce stress by both reducing the amount of rotation that occurs and allowing the infrabulge arm to disengage from the abutment.